what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel you already know it's your girl patrick kiera and today's video is going to be my most recent pickups that i have thrifted all of these items have been thrifted i thrifted all of these from vegan's closet in manhattan because you guys know that's like my thrift store the the one that i basically get everything from so before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and we're just gonna get straight into it today. So the first item that I have is this Vivian Westwood just short sleeve polo. It does have rips in the side. I guess whoever sold this, they had tried to just cut it on the sides. Not too sure why, but I kind of want to shorten it a little because this is a men's shirt. As you can see, it says Vivian Westwood Man on it. This shirt is so amazing though. I am not gonna be trying on items in this video, but I'll probably make a lookbook using a few of the pieces. But yeah, so it just has the orb right here. As you guys can see, just a striped navy shirt. Super dope. I've been wanting a Vivian Westwood shirt for the longest. I had some trousers a while back, but I messed them up. <laughs> so I needed just another Vivian piece that wasn't like my choker or like some type of accessory. So yeah, this is the shirt. The next item that I'm going to show you guys is this hysteric glamour, just like zip up little sweater. It has a female right here on it and it has hysteric glamour kind of going around. The lighting is kind of bright, so I'm gonna turn it down and see if you guys can see. It's like glitter. <laughs> it's literally like zebra print glitter, but it is so amazing. I'm really obsessed with this piece. I think it's vintage because the tag looks a little older. If you can see, right here but once again another fire piece especially for fall time i am trying to buy more pieces for fall so i thought that this piece was so fire it's just one of those pieces that's kind of like a statement piece that you can just wear with like leather pants and just boots for fall time so yeah so the next item i have is this velour top this is a Gucci top. This is from the Tom Ford era. This is also another staple that I think will be perfect for fall because it's black and velour. Like, it just says rich. Like, it just speaks richness. It just looks rich. It feels rich. Everything about this piece is so fire. It has a very low V cut here in the front. So if I wanted to layer it, I could, or I could just have like chest out of like some necklaces. This is gonna be an amazing piece for fall time. And the last top that I'm going to show you guys is this helmet laying. It's just like <clears throat> a knitted sweater slash dress. It's so long. I'll probably just wear it as like a long knitted sweater probably wear it under maybe have like a tube top under it just so that I'm not exposing myself to the world but the sleeves are so long on it but I love it it's just so cute it's like a basic that you can have which I think is mainly everything that I have in this thrift recent pickups are like pieces that are more basics for fall because I just want to start building like a new wardrobe for the fall time but yeah, so this piece I will probably wear with a skirt or with a pair of nice trousers. And I don't know, let me see if I can turn on the brightness again so you guys can see. It's like a nude brown color. Right now I think it's turned up a little bit more lighter than it is, but fire, just fire piece. So now I want to get into skirts that I have picked up because for some reason I've been getting skirts. But the first skirt is this Valentino skirt. It is very long, very long skirt, but it has pockets in it. Like these are pockets right here in the front. But 
this is a nice skirt for like a night out a little date night or just like a night out with friends with a button down and you could dress it down with sneakers as well but i really enjoyed it so that is why i picked it up i wish i could show you guys the full thing it's so long i'll probably put this in a lookbook so that you guys can see exactly how it fits because it fits so freaking nice like just so nice and if you guys didn't already see my Mugler skirt video that I made a little review on, I have this little Mugler mini skirt that is from the 80s. It's just so cute and it fits so nice. And like I said, this skirt is so fit. Like if I gain another pound, I'm gonna bust out of this thing. But I love it so much because it fits so well and it just looks so nice on and the last skirt that i want to show you guys is actually so dope this is a gautier skirt but i think that someone like diy'd it so i'll show you the back too this is the back of it it just has the jean paul gautier but it's like a knitted sweater combined with a denim pair of pants or like a skirt that someone had that was Gautier because the inside has the Gautier tag if you guys can see that the inside has this Gautier tag but the way that it's constructed here if you can see like the knitwork on the inside one of my co-workers actually told me that she thinks that it was put together like this because the buttons also say Gautier on them. That's why I don't know if it was, but so I'm gonna flip it so you guys can see. Oh, not me hitting the camera. So this is, if it was a sweater, but it's a skirt, the other way. But these aren't connected, they're like loose. That's why I have no idea, but I'm gonna wear it as a skirt slash top because I also put it on as like, a little like tube top and also look cute that way or not a tube top but a bandeau top i guess you would say just a strapless top so i put it on that way and it also looks fire but yeah this piece is a go like this was the ultimate come up and this skirt was 74 dollars i haven't even worn it it still has the tags on it everything but this skirt was 74 dollars and i love it so much i just really love this skirt and also I got one dress, so let me pull that out. The dress that I got is this Vivian Tam little boho-esque midi dress. It has this cute little like tassel embellishments on it at the top and it's just like has butterflies. It's so pretty. This skirt is, I mean this dress is nylon it was made in hong kong and it just was the perfect this is the perfect dress for the end of summer slash going into fall because you could layer this you could add a button down underneath or you could just add like a leather jacket on top of it and like wear it with boots but i love this little dress it's so cute and i've been wanting a vivian tan piece as well for a minute so when i saw this one i was like this is the perfect vivian tan piece for me personally because i have like a boho-esque type look that i guess i'm doing i don't even know y'all i just be wearing whatever but yeah so i got this dress and also this shirt that i have on right now is just like a basic shirt let me lower the camera though so you can see it's just this basic top but this is a jill sonder top that I also got from Beacon's Closet. It's kind of cropped, but I like exactly where it falls. It's like perfect. And it's just a good basic to have, and I could dress this up or down. So I thought that I would just pick it up, and this was $24. I didn't go through all the prices, but it is what it is. All right, and a, another piece, so I got a coat, and it is this, supreme freaking bomber fur coat this coat is so luscious 
beautiful. It's so luscious and I don't even wear Supreme. This is the only Supreme piece I've ever owned in my life. But I thought it was so dope. So this is definitely a winter time coat because it's super heavy. But it's amazing and it has Supreme on the inside of the liner. Let's see. As you can see it has Supreme on the inside of the liner and it's just so luscious and soft and furry. So I will definitely be pulling this out this winter. So get ready for the outfits. All right, so the last thing that I wanna show you guys are the shoes that I got this month. Literally everything that I'm showing you guys are things that I got this month. And the shoes are Chef's Kiss, the ultimate come up, the ultimate, ultimate come up. So I actually do have one pair of shoes that I bought myself. I didn't buy them from Beacons. I just got them from Foot Action or Finish Line. I'll leave it down below. So the shoes that I got are a pair of sneakers. They are the Jordan 1 Lows. I, this is my first pair of Jordans ever. I just really liked how these look and I love red and I love white and the combination of both. So I ended up getting these sneakers. Let's see. They are the perfect sneaker. They give me like skater vibes. They kind of remind me of the SBs and I really wanted the SBs but I couldn't find a pair online that were the color that I wanted. So I ended up getting these instead. And these are just so fire. Like I wear these with trousers, dresses, skirts, literally everything and they always look good. So I'm so happy that I got these shoes y'all because they are fire. The next pair of sneakers that I got and these were thrifted are these undercover Converse. So they say order and disorder on the top. I have to keep turning down the brightness so y'all can see. But yeah, they say order and disorder on the top. These, I just love this colorway, the red and the white. Once again, another red and white sneaker. And they fit very well. These were $29. Yeah, these were $29. I saw another pair, they were like a black, like high top version with like rings on them. And those were cool as well, but I already have like high top black converse so I wanted a low pair and these were like the best pair that I think that I could find. So I also got a pair of sandals. They are these Ugg and Echos Lata sandals. Let me show you guys. Let me get the sandal together first so you can see exactly what they look like. So I'm actually just gonna pull out one. They are these Ugg Echos Lata sandal. They have like fur on the sides and on the inside it just says Ugg Echos, Echos Lata right there. And I just thought they were so cute. I'm not too sure when I'm gonna wear these yet or where I'm gonna wear them to, but I'm thinking like with a white sock during winter time, these will be so cute, like just so cute. And they're just so different. This is like a little statement heel. So yeah, I got these. And the last thing, y'all, y'all are not even ready for this. This is like maybe the best thrift find that I'll ever, 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 ever come across. Like ever because I'm still shocked that I got these. They are tabbies. Y'all, I thrifted a pair of tabbies and to show y'all that I'm not lying like about the price and the fact that I thrifted these, this is like the price on the bottom of the shoe. $54 y'all, 50. <laughs> $54 for a pair of tabbies and the reason that they are $54 which Yeah, the re reason they're $54 is because the bottom like they need to be resold So as you can see the bottom is basically falling apart Right here my toe is gonna be on the ground, but for $54 Honestly for $100. I would still have my toe on the ground in these they are well worn in 
but I think I like them that way because they look so good. I thrifted a pair of Margiela tabbies and the bottom of them, these are 38 and I'm normally a 39 shoes just in case you guys want tabbies or you're looking to get a pair. These do run bigger because like I said, I'm normally a 39, especially in like a boot. I'm normally a 39, but these are a 38. And in the back, I never even knew that tabby boots had these little hooks basically for the shoes because where was I going to try on a pair of tabbies at? No, never. So yeah, they have these little hooks on the back and you can adjust them based on like tightness. There's like three different uh, levels or yeah, I guess levels of hooks that you can put the shoe on. And yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm still just so shocked that I got these shoes, but I thrifted a pair of tabbies and I think I went at thrifting y'all. I think I have officially won at thrifting because who the hell thrifts tabby boots? <laughs> me that's who me right here all right so that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my most recent pickups because i have i was gonna film like here and there but i'm like maybe i should just do it once a month so that you guys can see everything that i've gotten in a month and lately i've been trying to get more quality items versus like more trendy items or items that i know i'll probably only wear once and yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.